Okay. We've already started on an enclosure for you. you They're never going to let me talk. To the side. This is our initial setup over here uh, on the starting island. The, the, it, things look lovely. I mean, these trees, there's like a lot of details in here. Later on, there'll be helicopters moving around. Like, you can see the sw trees sway. When helicopters fly over the trees, they all, like, <coughs> push out of the way and look very realistic. Oh, my God, I'm dying. I'm dying. Uh, and we've got, so we got a setup. We've got a little science area over here and things. We can't really click right now because it's semi-tutorial mode. We've got an enclosure sort of pre-setup over here. And right now we're being prompted to set up a Hammond Creation Lab. This is where the genetic tinkering goes on. And this is how we hatch our dinosaurs. So we're going to go ahead and attach it right here to the side of the enclosure and get that Let's building. Let's focus on what you're here to do, <laughs> which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually... Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. All the visuals in this game are really lovely. I mean, the sound design, You'll the visuals. You'll connect it to the pre-existing network of paths. They spare the no expense. Grid. All right, yes, you're connected to the paths. Leave me alone. Give me the next now thing. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery. That was bait. pretty cinematic, wasn't it? There's enough genome mean? data for your first viable dinosaur. All right. So our creation lab, we've got a couple of hatching bays currently. Uh, there's lots of building upgrades and stuff that you can do later on as you unlock more tech and things. You can get some information about the building here. We can turn it on and off to preserve some power or whatever. We're going to go and incubate our first dinosaur. So... These are the dinosaurs. There's 42 listed here. Now, I know there's a digital deluxe edition that adds five more dinosaurs. I don't know if I have that or not. And the fact that that's even a thing. Yeah, the salt is there. But anyway, we got that. Now, you need at least 50% of the complete dinosaur biome for it to be viable. And, you know, if you've ever watched Jurassic Park or whatever, you know they like cram in some like frog DNA or something like that to try to complete the missing bits of DNA that I've got. So we've got the, the strut dinosaur. He's a strutter, uh, and we've got it set up at 65% already, which is good. You also have the ability to modify the, ge the genome. If you get more technologies unlocked, you can make a fair number of modifications to the dinosaur. Actually, we already have the ability to steal a little bit of DNA from bats over it's here. Whiskey it's whiskey and chocolate from Job! Thank you very much! Bit of whiskey for that cough. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Job, for you not sparing any expense. Yeah, this, you're going to hear that a lot today. Um, so if we were to go and apply... A little bit of bat DNA in here. We can use that to boost lifespan. Katie Cat again! Hey! Final tip of the day. Quick question. Can you adjust the UI and text size? I don't know if we saw that actually. I'm not sure that we can. So you can see the lifespan here is going to go up by six by including this bat DNA. However, the viability goes down. There's slightly more of a chance that the incubation won't work, which would be a shame. I'm going to leave it as is for now. It also increases the cost of incubation, although this one not very much. And we've even got some lock categories, which we don't know about. So we're just going to do sort of a vanilla struffiomimus strutty dinosaur. Hey, cool man! Can I get some tea over for you? Yeah, maybe. I've got some coffee going on. We'll try to <clears throat> purge that. So we're going to incubate. It's going to cost us 30 grand to get started. And we're going to go ahead and start incubating this one dinosaur. Ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? He said my Come line! On, doctor. <laughs> you know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And Can we have vampire next... DNA? It's vampire bat DNA, so there you go. Greetings from Belgium, never heard of it. <laughs> uh, okay, so <clears throat> this is now ready for release. So we're gonna go and do that. Look, even the grass looks quite nice. Mr. Strut. Oh, I need to bring up the Life. list of um, my list of subscribers. The most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them so well done i guess frame drops huh <clears throat> that's interesting so i think right now all of a sudden my computer started to lag like crazy the during the zooming in has with all the grass areas of interest security entertainment and science 
I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. We better now? They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Yeah, so there weren't any actual like uh, bandwidth frame drops, but yeah, the when I tabbed out and while it was zoomed in there, the CPU and GPU usage was like crazy, so it got slowed down. Mm. Okay, so we have to choose a contract. So there are three competing divisions, you know, in turn, because office politics are what they are. There's a science division, the entertainment division, and the security division. Um, and you know, they're sort of competing for your time and attention and resources and things like that. So sometimes one, if you pick one, the others will get a little upset and whatever, and you get bonuses for completing these various levels. I actually want to start with entertainment, and the reason is the order in which the, the sort of missions will happen here with the entertainment division, it's going to be funny. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to do a little bit of everything um, over time. But entertainment, because this guy's going to be like, hey, you know what's entertaining? Big ass scary dinosaurs. Good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, this, and honestly, this first step is going to be exactly the same, no matter which one of them you choose. But build, connect, and power an expedition center. This will let us send dig teams out to find more fossils so that we can extract DNA. And we'll get a reward for doing these steps. Doing, like, contracts you could go and start building willy-nilly. Follow the, uh, the, the first few steps room. of your contracts. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Great, thanks. Before we do that... Oh, I can't! It's locked! Gosh! Can't wait to get out of tutorial mode. All right, so, um... I mean, there might be, like, maybe putting it out of the way. There might be better places to put this stuff. I kind of... I'm going to put the expedition center right here. And the reason is our science lab is here, yeah, and, well, and sorry, our, like, fossil extraction lab is here, our research lab is here, and our genetics lab. It feels like it makes sense to have them kind of clustered. So I'm going to go ahead and place it kind of there. So one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Okay, let me actually interact with my buttons. I can't, I can't select the dinosaur, I can't go to the map mode. Alright, we'll just wait until this is, this is enabled. There we go. The entertainment division is taking notice of your success. As your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity to tackle more challenging missions. Scarlex is our first dinosaur over here. Thanks for the sub, Scarlex. Go again. We're, I, I thought I turned off these help pop-ups. I don't I'm need those. Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool <clears throat> stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. So this is the, the main mission for the entertainment division on the Island. I believe we have to do the main mission for all three divisions uh, for us to be able to unlock the next island, which will be which will have all kinds of natural disasters and you know, fun things that will cause horrible disasters. So he thinks it would be a great idea to build a Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus? A Michael Ceratosaurus over here. Um, he'll actually give me a million dollars as a reward and also unlock another kind of dinosaur, the Draco Rex. Um, so we gotta find some genome for this guy. Okay, no problem, we will do that. We have our expedition center over here. Thank you, I don't uh, need help. I'm about to explain it to I the viewers. I am all about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is, let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. All right. 
So, uh, the, the million dollars is like the quick start. You actually don't have enough money at the start to build all your basic buildings. So you have to do this to get enough funds to build the rest of your basic buildings. Uh, so this is our expedition map. Now, there will be expeditions all around the world at some point. In fact, we can already go to Portugal. Hey, there's a place to get the uh, Ceratosaurus as well. And over here in China, the Huyangosaurus. This is harder than playing like Civ and trying to play out polar city names. Um, I think there's a local site that's a little closer. Triceratops, yeah. The Strut, Edmondosaurus. Oh, right here. Um, at the Morrison Formation. So it's a little cheaper. It's 75 grand to mount the expedition instead of 90 grand. And we'll get that. The yellow dots have Good. never been discovered. First so they're going to be richer sites. Out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. That's, that's the expedition leaving. Um, but you can revisit the site to get some more stuff. Hey, kitty cat! Uh, see what you're doing? The more bodies in the park, the more food the dinos when they accidentally let them out. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Your say no more, say no more. Really? Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Nature, You're so slimy. Simple. Rev Wolf. Hey, thank you very much. Here you go. Quill, a little something uh, for some whiskey. As a thanks for the years of content and helping me be better at grand strategy games. Oh, well, thank you very much. And uh, again, thank you for sparing no expense today. So we actually start the game with some fossils. We've got some more strut fossils over here, which we can get more DNA out of these guys. Um, by extracting DNA from these fossils. We've got some Triceratops ones as well that can help us unlock that. Uh, Edmontosaurus. Uh, and actually, we do have a, Sarah, a Michael Sarah uh, fossil already. I'm going to go ahead and extract the uh, DNA from this. Takes a few seconds. And then I might, before we actually make the Michael Sarah dinosaur, we might go and wait for the expedition to come back with more fossils so that we'll have more DNA and can make a more viable subject. Hmm... Minor UI. Yeah, I know. The, it, I agree completely. Like, you select a fossil, and they've got the two ones. One of these gives you money, and one of these costs you money. So maybe one of them should have a negative sign. Speaking of negative sign, we're currently making negative money. But that's because, you know, we don't really have much to attract the guests yet. But that's okay. We've got a monorail over here. Say it with me. Monorail. Monorail. And this is where our guests are going to show up. So they'll, they'll arrive and start taking a look around. Not that there's much for them to do right now. Let's take a look at the research center here. We got a little prompt that the, the research, research center, center is currently idle. Improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, separating and more. a carnivorous re dinosaur from an herbivore dinosaur. Why would we do that, noble gamer? This is the reason I want to start with the entertainment branch because it'll be maximum entertainment. Okay, so research center. Uh, so we got this. We got a bunch of different areas of research. Um, some of them are, you know, locked right now, will be unlocked by various things, uh, and some of them are available. So, for example, we could unlock a new building, a clothes sh shop to sell our merch, that's very important. Uh, building upgrades for various buildings, like uh, a boost to, so DNA screening increases dinosaur viability by 10%. Who that? Tasty Velociraptor! <laughs> Don't trust the T-Rexes. Thank you very much, Tasty. I appreciate that. So you got building upgrades there. That's money. I mean, right now we got a lot, but I've learned like you can go bankrupt you super easy at the start. You got to be really careful. We'll come back set. to this. We'll get quests that prompt that us to research things. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. All right. So we're gonna go back to the fossil center. We're gonna see what we picked up. Ooh, some actual amber here uh, for the Michael Sarah dinosaur. It's four stars. It's gonna be really potent. Get us a lot of DNA. We'll get that. Uh, there's another Ceratosaurus, and this is just Renium, some, I don't know, some sort of rock, some sort of mineral. We're just gonna sell that for a hundred thousand bucks, which is gonna be nice. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these for now. We'll go and unlock them later. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the Strut DNA queued up. So you can queue up things over here. You can't queue research, I think because it's quite a bit more expensive than things, but you can queue the, uh, the fossil unlocks, which is, which is really handy for that. Um, we're, again, I'm going to leave the, the research be for a second. So, we need 50% uh, viability for the Ceratosaurus over here, which we're going to get in a moment. Um, anything else I want to start building? I kind of like, I'm, I kind of want to not build all the things right now, because I'm waiting for a quest to prompt me to do it so we can get rewards. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Need a lot of visitors, visitor food for the dinosaurs, yeah. All right, new viable genome over here. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Oh, Ian. 
Are we still doing the other one? Yeah, this one over here. I want to wait for this is done. Because we're at six. Uh, sorry, we're at sixty percent. Oh, that's only gonna add. Eh, it's gonna add a few percent. So we're gonna wait for that to finish. We're we gonna get to sixty-three percent viability. Actually, it probably would be a good idea, honestly, for us to go and research some of the um, the genetic modifications. Like, for example, we can get alpine coloring. It's gonna take four minutes to research, so we're gonna get that started. Okay, I think that finished. So let's look at incubating. Our Ceratosaurus. Yeah, let's ignore the little steak icon over here. I'm sure it's fine. Everything's okay. Uh, any genome modifications for you? No. And then of course we've got we've got the bat. Or no, this is not the bat one. This is robust digestion from uh, Varanus Komodoensis. I guess the Komodo dragon. Now what's cool about this is in addition to boosting the resilience, this is also boosting the rating of the dinosaur, making it more impressive. Um, so we're gonna do that. It, so it's gonna be a lot tougher, it's gonna be able to eat a lot more things, so we're gonna apply this gene. Boom. And notice that this dinosaur is very expensive. Over a half a million dollars to incubate. 30 grand, 572 grand. Alright, let's get it started. Gosh, I hope it'll have enough to eat. <clears throat> uh, just means steak restaurants near are more effective. Yeah, that, that's exactly the way it works. So we're going to do that. Now, again, there's many things I could do right now. Uh, we can take a look just maybe like landscaping tools, for example. So forest shrubs, remove landscapes. So we can put down maybe a, a nice little shrubs over here. You know, add a little flavor to that. You can terraform quite a bit. Add water, remove water, raise lower terrain, flatten terrain. Which is good because the dinosaurs all have different landscape preferences. So if we go ahead and find uh, uh, Scarlax over here, who of course is going to have a long and happy life. We can actually see how this dinosaur feels about things. Its health is only... Oh, it's starving right now! Maybe we should give it some food. Poor Scarlex. Uh, so we go to enclosures over here. So for herbivores like this, we can get a ground feeder or a tall feeder. This guy's short, so we're going to do a ground feeder over here. We're going to go ahead and do that. And you know what? I will do the next thing. Uh, which is under enclosures, I'm gonna go and put down a viewing gallery over here. You can see the area, so view, uh, um, visitors can come here and view dinosaurs in this zone. So we'll put the feeder right in front of it, which will help increase the chance that our visitors will get to see an awesome dinosaur. We need some power over here, so we're gonna build a new substation. So these yellow areas are areas where substations have reached. I'm gonna plop it down right... Oh, there we go, right, right here. And then just hook it up to this post, because it'll reach that once it gets built. And then it'll cover this area as well for some things. All right. So, uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. Ah, oh, so he's got lots to eat. Boy, I'm, I'm hoping the other dinosaur is going to have lots to eat, too. Let's release it. So only 62% viability, but we successfully bred this dinosaur. Failing would hurt a lot. That's a lot of money going away. This game uh, is on Steam, I think, for pre-order. It comes out tomorrow. You feed dinosaur visitors to the dinosaurs. So the dinosaurs can certainly get out. And that scares the visitors a lot. I don't know, I don't think anyone can actually be killed by a dinosaur. I'm not sure. Happy guests is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos. Just you feed dinosaurs to visitors? Less uh, <laughs> am I right? Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh no! We've made a huge mistake! How could we let this happen? I had no idea! Oh! Oh! Oh, what a terrible miscalculation! Oh, you people, why didn't you warn me? Oh! And now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. <laughs> but could you have delayed it? Well, um, that's maybe so I just feel like this should be like <laughs> Scarlax in my belly. Just because Scarlax didn't have a whole lot of time to be in the game. So we're going to keep him in, him or her, in a little bit longer over there. That's a four star attraction, though, this ah, one Dr. here. Dr. Dua, this is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. <laughs> Only living I'm specimen dead. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. 
That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Oh, I'm managing our dinosaur population quite well. You know, keep it from becoming overcrowded. So we got a mission here from the science division. They want us to unearth a smaller medium herbivore fossil. That's fine. So we'll just run an expedition. It'll happen. And the other thing, we can go to the control room over here, which we'll be looking at a lot of these things soon. But if we go to contract, we can actually request a new contract. There's a cooldown of how often you can request it, but you can do that and you can pick your division. So let's throw in a security division contract at the same this time. This is Lambert. Head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors. Encouraging because instinctive these animals behavior. Have this is fine. Plans. These security Look, people, they're, they're always legit. Everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Some chances, yeah. I'm sure this is going to be fine. So there's a cooldown. we got to wait before we request another one. But yeah, I, I think you can have up to three going at a time. I'm not sure. So yeah, we have a dead dino over here. I mean, eventually it'll decay. Um, I think we can clear it out earlier if we want to as well. Uh, our commercial park, we've... Oh, they want us to go and make a, a fast food restaurant and a clothes shop. That'll be a good way to make some money. Tell you what, let's, um, let's go and get that started. Our guests here. Uh, fast food restaurant. Yeah. Let's go and get one right over, right over here, close to the entrance. I don't know, like maybe somewhere else. Tell you what, can we stick it right in here? We can. Although I think I want to build an enclosure over here. You know what? I actually, I mean, just put it over here. That's going to be fine. Because yeah, I do want to build another enclosure over there. It turns out you guys. I don't want to spoil anything, but it turns out it might be a good idea to separate the carnivores and the herbivores. Unless you've got a tough herbivore, because you could. Honestly, Triceratops could probably fight off a lot of those things. If we take a look at our dinos over here, there is a defense and attack rating for the various dinosaurs. Yes, I know, they can die. Should remove to prevent disease. We'll get there in a second. Um, these dinosaurs, you can see like defense ratings, right? So uh, the uh, Michael Sarah dinosaur over here has an attack of 73. Triceratops, oh, we don't actually have the stats for it, but I was gonna say it has a pretty good defense despite being an herbivore. So we'll uh, we'll come back at you in a second. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, extract and extract both of those. That's gonna be fine. All right, we got a fast food. Oh, we'll also go and start researching our clothing shop over here. Excellent. Okay, because we're gonna need that. So let's start work on our new enclosure. So under enclosure, we got start by fences. You got, right now we only got two different types of fences. The light fence and the gate. Uh, we can unlock electric fences fairly early on as well. So I'm gonna make most of this uh, a full enclosure. I'm gonna leave a gap for like a viewing area somewhere. Actually, maybe over here might be best. Now we've got these power cables and things that'll get slightly in the way. There we go. Do something like this. And yeah, we've got the substation. Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. Thanks, buddy. Uh, let's get you in there. In there. That might not be enough for a viewing area. It's not going to be the gr biggest thing. There we go. Something like that. I don't know if the, sp the placement will work out. Okay, we'll see. We got that, and then we'll build a gate uh, somewhere over here. So that our rangers, not that we have any yet, will be able to get in there. Excellent. Uh, construct and power viewing gallery. So I did that already. Construct and power clothes shop. So let's get you down since we've unlocked you. And we'll get a reward for finishing the quest as well. Here, we're going to put you down right there. Excellent. Profit per minute, 51,000. That's nice. We can go to finances. Again, we can get a breakdown. So the various menus over here. Um, we've got, here's our list of all the dinosaurs we, we know about and the information that we've got about them. That's fine. Uh, the finances, our current missions that we've got running. Um, I don't, it's gotta be an easier way to get back to that level. Uh, our reputation with the different factions, and we can find out what happens if we progress different places, what'll happen. Uh, so finishing the first tier mission for all three of these, that's what you need to unlock the next island. So that'll be a thing. Um, yeah, we can request a new contract. So we don't have an entertainment one going on. We got a science and a security. So let's go ahead and get an entertainment Here's one. Here's a chance to really prove yourself. Hey, these are going to overlap. That's good. 
So these are just like little side missions. You find anything interesting? I want to know about it. These are all the islands we'll you unlock eventually. Our expedition maps. Anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and send out an Your expedition. Choice. Uh, we'll do all the yellow dots as quickly right as possible to get the the big boost, and then we'll revisit things when we're looking for more fossils. Like our I'm research seeing. list. I'm gonna let's hold off for up. now. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. Oh, we're working on it. Things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. All right, we need a ACU center. Again, very expensive, but we sh well, are we okay? Because we have... No, we'll have a little bit left. Although spawning a dinosaur will be a little hard. 